I can't really go a lot of places because I have to do my treatment and um, and just I'm always nauseated, so I always have to sit at home and I have to miss out on a lot of stuff. 16-year-old Heather Razor has never been to high school. She's been on home hospital care for the past nine years. Her colon does not work normally. She does not have normal motility. She cannot really sense when she has to go. Her days are filled with painful treatments involving large amounts of saline and a mixture of medicines to help flush out her system. It's a huge amount and, and yet it still seems to have just minimal results with her at this time. So we're just, I mean, we just want to get her uh, off the, the, the flush outs. Basically, you can't go anywhere. You're trapped by this because you have to do this every single night. We can't really even go out to, to dinner at this point. But doctors at Nationwide Children's Hospital have a solution. It's called a sacral nerve stimulator. And what it does is it stimulates the nerve that controls the motility of your colon. The small device implanted near Heather's tailbone delivers an electrical stimulation, letting her know when she has to go to the bathroom. I'm determined that this is going to help her. The first thing that we see that happens is that these washouts go from being 24 hours for her to being like an hour. I'll probably get about 16, 18 hours back a week. Dr. Teich is one of the few in the country to perform this procedure in pediatrics. Our success rate so far has been about 90% to be totally better, to be where they can function as a normal person without worrying about washouts or catheters, etc. It's too early for Heather to see permanent results. In her case, she had such severe problems with her colon that it's literally going to take six months to a year for it to get better. But she's made progress. We've gone to a hockey game already, which is a, a you know, something we, I don't think we could have even done before. And that seemingly small feat is providing hope. What I hope to get out of this is she will be able to go back to school. She'll be able to decorate that locker. She will be able to drive. And I want her to get into trouble. At Nationwide Children's Hospital, this is Clark Powell reporting.